a nice little selection of underpainting colors. If you want to, you can take your brush. This is a flat brush. And if I wet this brush, wipe it off, this is called a thirsty brush. And some of the colors that ran into my subject, I can, I can pull them back out again. I don't actually mind if some of the colors run in, but sometimes it's a little irritating. You know, these are white flowers. So I think I will lift out just a few of these areas. I had a hard edge there. Just lost that. Now be careful that you don't have water. If I had water on this brush too much, it would bleed out and you're creating more problems than you're solving. So make sure your brush is almost dry. It's called a dry brush. No, it isn't. It's called a thirsty brush. <laughs> okay, enough there. Now what I want to do is just to create some of these lovely textures in the background. This is an unruh paper and it's very fibered. It's just a wonderful paper. And what I want to do is just put little pieces. Don't put large pieces. Try to stay out of your subject. But sometimes I see people putting down pieces this big. No. Keep them small. Press them in. And see my paper is starting to dry now. So I have to go into this with my sprayer. Press into this with my finger. And get these papers to really bond. 